Today on Earth Focus, Cape Verde, an island nation off Africa's western coast, may be a new world leader in wind energy. Coming up on Earth Focus. Cape Verde, a group of islands 500 kilometers off the coast of West Africa. A former Portuguese colony and a small island developing state, it's poor in natural resources. But one thing it does have in abundance is wind. In 2009, Cabiolica was set up to harness that wind power and reduce Cape Verde's dependence on costly diesel fuel. Today, Cape Verde is a world leader in wind energy. Cape Verde has a very good wind condition. We're talking about some 10 meters per second wind speed on average. These conditions are quite good when you have a technology that is performing well. Construction of the wind farms began in 2010. Working with wind turbine manufacturer Vestas, 30 turbines were erected on four islands. It was a challenging operation with no equipment large enough for the task. Even trucks and cranes had to be imported. Within a few months, the wind farms were operational. These now supply 18% of all Cape Verde's electricity and 30% on two islands. Since Cape Verde is still very much dependent on fossil fuels and these make up a large percentage of our imports, the government decided to increase sustainability by opting for a large percentage of renewable energy and Cabeolica was the country's first large project in this sector. Cabeolica sells the wind-generated electricity to the national utility company. Wind power for Electra means three things. First of all, energy. Secondly, cost, and third, environment. With our experience uh, with Cabeolica, we see that the cost reduced for 20% at least. The projects resulted in a significant cut in the amount of fuel used to produce electricity, helping to reduce the country's dependence on imported fossil fuels. But the utility company is not yet using all the potential of the Cabeolica wind farms. It's working to improve the grid to allow more wind power to be used and allow more renewable capacity to be added to the grid. One possibility is to use surplus wind energy at night to power the electricity-hungry desalination plants. Vestas, Cabiolica and Electra work together to maintain and monitor the turbines. This joint training exercise between Electra and Cabiolica is a regular occurrence. When I was finishing my master's abroad, I was very surprised to find in Cape Verde a project that was so large and a, an important shift in the energy sector that was happening at the time. So I was able to actually come back home and uh, be working in this fantastic company. The wind farms mean skilled jobs for local workers. All Cabiolica staff are from Cape Verde. Wind energy has meant fewer power cuts and a more reliable electricity supply, which will help boost economic growth, particularly the expanding tourist industry. Cabeolica is a very ambitious project for Cape Verde, and its success leads us to believe it is possible to become a much more sustainable country in terms of energy and a much more sustainable country in terms of resource management, economic growth, and creation of jobs in global terms, it is also a desire of Cabeolica, of uh, this country, to have this project replicated in other countries, especially in West Africa. The Cabeolica project is the first experience of a public-private partnership in Cape Verde. As such, the structure of the project has been studied by different investors interested in getting to know the experience of Cabiolica. They hope to replicate the project in other regions of the African continent. The project has been so successful that the government has adopted the ambitious policy of introducing 100% renewable electricity to the country by 2020, ensuring that Cape Verde has a sustainable future.
Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.